How's it going guys? My name is DJP and welcome back to another NBA 2K24 Miami Rebuilding Challenge. We've got our final Eastern Conference team here and it's going to be the Miami Heat team that got eliminated in the finals last season. Of course in five games, had a magical run but couldn't go all the way unfortunately. But we're going to be trying to see if we can rebuild them in five seasons. Injuries, morale, all that fun stuff's on there. There's office rule changes. Uh, because those are super annoying sometimes. Not meant to be realistic. And if we mispronounce some names, we mispronounce some names. That's just how the cookie crumbles. So leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Comment all the videos. Go to socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like it, the content, TJP. And with that being said, let's get on into the gameplay. All right, so let's take a look at the Heat's roster. So we've got Kyle Lowry and Drew Smith. Point guard, shooting guards, Tyler Hero, Josh Richardson, RJ Hampton. Butler, Robinson, Hawkes Jr., and Kane as your small forwards. Power forwards got Caleb Martin, Kevin Love, Haywood Highsmith, Nikola Jovic, and Cole Switter. And centers Bam, Thomas Bryant, and Orlando Robinson. So there's some interesting pieces on the team that obviously want to keep around. I, it's tough to say if we want to like maybe move Hero or not. You know, I definitely probably want to move Duncan Robinson some point. Kyle Rowley definitely want to move. Uh, I actually might even move him now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, see if we get something better. Um, I mean, this isn't even that bad with the Hornets. We get Terry Rozier and Cody Martin. Terry Rozier could just be the point guard. I mean, we, we could take a shot at Ben Simmons, but eh. Monte Morris, Joe Harris. Um, do I want to take a shot at uh, Terry Rozier being the point guard? I wouldn't mind it. Um... I wouldn't mind it. Then we can move Terry Rozier in the offseason. Cody Martin. We pair him up with his brother, Caleb. I think I'll do this deal with the Hornets. <coughs> Excuse me. As I sneeze. So, yeah, we're going to do that. That's perfect. We're not going to cut that sneeze out. We always keep them in. So, Terry Rozier will play the starting point guard, which I think is fine. I mean, Hero can also play a little bit of point, too. So, should be okay there as their secondary positions. Um, I think that's pretty much the only move I'm going to make for now. I mean, I think at some point we might want to move Duncan Robinson just because his contract is uh, egregious. So we'll, we'll simulate to around the um, mid-season point, and, a.k.a. the trade deadline, and we'll see how this team is doing. Uh, before we do that, though, assist proficiency, four-star pace and space is what we're going to keep it on. Yeah, we'll keep it on pace and space. All right, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. All right, so we're at the trade deadline. Nine seed right now, 25 and 27. I mean, that isn't that good, um, but... You know, it's fine. Uh, let's take a look and see the team, what we got going on here. So right now, Butler, 19 points a game. 18 point eight from Tyler Hero. Hero's years averaging 18, but probably not that efficient. Uh, Bam, 16.6. 16 we got Duncan Robinson, who's not doing... T uh, what is he doing? He's doing all right. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Thomas Bryant, Kevin Love. Okay, I mean, we got some guys that are doing okay. Who's irritated? Ah, uh, Caleb Martin's irritated. Interesting. Okay, we got Bam averaging nine rebounds, seven point six from Kevin Love, five point four from Butler, who's also in the team in assist, and Hero Rozier. In terms of steals, Jimmy Butler two point six steals a game is actually really impressive. Then we got Jaime Hawkes. He only played four games though, and then um, Drew Smith has only played one. They each block shots there. Bam with one point four to lead the team. Most efficient score has been Thomas Bryant, fifty two and a half point uh, percent. Huge three-point percentage, we have Cody Martin, 49.4%, and then your best free throw shooter has been Duncan Robinson since it doesn't look like Haywood Highsmith is even seeing the floor that much in only two games this season. I mean, we could try to look to make a trade. Uh, we we have an, a plethora of small forwards. I mean, we could move, like, Duncan Robinson and Caleb Martin see if we can get something for them, but... Uh, we get Shrews back. I saw that. That's kind of funny. Um, I don't want to make any trades like this, so I think we'll just hold off. Um, I'd like to get Brandon Miller, but I can't. <laughs> no, it's not happening. That'd be cool if we get him. Yeah, no, I think I think we might just simulate the rest of the season. I think we'll end up being a playing team potentially, so we'll keep that as is, and then we'll have to look to make some moves in the off season to get this team back into contention. All right, so Luka Doncic, MVP, Victor, Rookie of the Year, 16th of the Year, Cameron Thomas, most proved, uh, Defense Player of the Year, Giannis, most proved, Nas Reed, Clutch Player of the Year, Jay Gilds-Alexander, Taylor Jenkins, Coach of the Year, Executive of the Year, Tyler Jamison, 
I mean, our team wasn't very good, but we did end up making the play, and I think it's a nine seed. There's Joel Bay first, second, and third team. We're not going to see any heat on any of these teams. We will see Jimmy Butler all defense second team, which makes sense. We 19.7 points, he's around 5.8 assists. But the steals is what put him there. 2.6 steals a game is pretty impressive. Now, the field goal three-point percentage. Field goal percentage is good. Three-point percentage, not so much. So, all right. Let's see how uh, we got here. So, yeah, we were the play-in team. Ninth seed, got to take on Toronto. Hope we can beat them. 41 and 41. I mean, we were a play-in seed last season and got doing all the finals. That's what the Heat did. So, I mean, they could theoretically do it again in the game of 2K, but I'm not holding my hopes very high in this game. Five guys, at least 10 points a game. Got your rebounding. It's going to go to Bam, Kevin Love, Jimmy Butler. And then you got your assist, Butler, Hero, Rozier. Steals a game. Butler and Bam. Uh, and then you got your block shot. It's going to be Bam and also Butler. Most efficient score was Jimmy Butler as well. 53.8%. Three-point percentage is going to Caleb Martin, but he's hurt for you know six to eight weeks, so probably will miss the rest of the season. And Tyler Hero is the best three-point shoot, uh, free throw shooter at 92.5%. So we're going to adjust the rotation here. Looks good. So let's see what happens here against Toronto. I feel like we could beat them. I feel like we could beat them. We'll see. We'll see if Toronto is ready. They don't have OG. OG looks like he's hurt. Siakam's hurt. I feel like we should be able to take advantage of this game. And we do. We do take advantage. In fact, we blew them out by 40. Terry Rizier was our leading scorer. Bam was also near triple-double. So that's good to see. And then Cleveland. Now, Cleveland, this team, not nah, going to beat them. I mean, if we beat them, that's great. But I don't know. I feel like we're not. I don't know how this team is only a 7 seed. They probably had injuries or something. And we do lose to them. And, yeah, we got beat by 29 points. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, they shouldn't have been a 7 seed. Now they're an 8 seed. So, all right. So we'll see in the playoffs. See what ends up happening. Yeah, as you can see, Cleveland is literally going to the friggin' Eastern Conference Finals. We got the Warriors versus the Sixers, and the Sixers win the finals. Joel Embiid, Finals MVP. All right, let's go on to the offseason. Okay, wow, our pick jumped up all the way to number four. That's pretty insane. We were we were we were checked at twelfth, and we have the fourth pick now. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. That we jumped all the way to four. So that's some great lottery luck right there. So that's perfect. I don't think we could trade it, but uh, having the uh, fourth pick is going to be awesome for us to get us a good uh, good player. Yeah, we can't trade it. We have a second round pick, 13. So that's great. Uh, I'm going to see if we can still propose a trade, though. Maybe try to get a, you know, a, a different player on this team. All right, Terriers, you're Cody Martin in the first round pick to the Rockets. We're going to offer Jun Goon to be on the team. Uh, really good center. We could maybe make Bam a power forward or something like that. I'm um, happy with that. I'm going to do this deal here with the Pistons. We're going to get a top three protected first round pick and a second round pick this season for Duncan Robinson just to free off, off of his contract. So we're going to go to the draft. We're going to have pick four, which is super good. I'll sim to the user pick here. And I'm happy with the pick four. I mean, the fact that we jumped up all the way is super helpful. Uh, we could go with like an Alexander Saar, uh, Justin Edwards, Stefan Castle. Oh, there's a lot of options here. We go with like a point guard like DJ Wagner. Uh, we do need a point guard, so maybe we go with him just because we need a point guard. Tyrus Proctor is also there. I think I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with DJ Wagner. Just because um, we need a point guard. So there you go. DJ Wagner, welcome to the team. And I'm pretty happy with that uh, pick there. So rookie signings, Wagner. Uh, we also got Kinsley, we're not going to sign him. And then there's guy Jurisic, not going to sign him. So Martin declined, Bryant declined. We'll accept Jovic. And then Drew Smith, we're going to decline as well. We don't need him. All right, so qualifiers, Cole Swidler, no. Haywood Highsmith, yes. RJ Hampton, no. And Jamal Kane, no. Uh, even though Highwood, Highsmith is really annoyed. All right, so we're going to go to free agency. We'd like to get LeBron back, but I can't afford him. So no LeBron, no problem. Uh, I mean, we could try to re-sign Caleb Martin, but he's not even entertaining offers. I think I'm just going to let him walk, honestly, and we'll just try to find a different player instead. I, I think that's honestly fine. Highsmith... He's not interested. If he accepts a qualifier, great. If not, no worries. So let me see if I can try to improve the team. So I play a progression. This is what we got. So we got Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Harris, JD7. We got Shingun, 
Uh, Kyle Anderson's on the team now. DJ Wagner, we drafted. We picked up Jose Alvarado, Alec Burks. Uh, we got Jovich. Still have Jaime Hawkins Jr. Grace Allen picked up. Haver Highsmith still back on the team. We got DeLon Wright, Joe Harris. We have Orlando Robinson as well. Just to kind of uh, round out the team, which is cool. So I'm curious to see if I change uh, either Bam or... Well, Bam doesn't really change. Shingun goes down. So if we make Bam a power forward, now he could start at the four, and we could have Shingun at the five. So I like that. Let's uh, advance to the second season. Start the second season. Here's the roster. So we've got DJ, Jose, and DeLon Wright. We've got Hero, Burks, and Allen. Butler, Jaime Hawkins Jr., and Joe Harris. Bam, Anderson, Jovich, and Highsmith. And then we've got Shingun and Robinson. So I'm going to make... Um, Bam's secondary position, a uh, center. I'm trying to see if I could find the quick edit option. And can we change this to, is there like a, let's see. This is what I want. Can you change their birthdays? You can, it's kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, Bam will make him his power forward, a, he'll make him a center, power forward and center. Just say we have, he, you know, he can play center stealth. So I do like our team. I think it's actually pretty good. The one Jose Alvarado starting at the point guard instead of DJ Wagner. I guess that's fine to start off the season. Let the rookie come off the bench. But I think it, eventually we're going to want him starting. So that's fine, though, for now. And then the system proficiency, we are at four star pace and space. I might go balanced. I think that's a little bit better for us. So we'll, we'll run a balance, activate that. So I think we can improve this season. Let's let's see in the sim how we're going to do this year. I'll see you guys at trade online. Well, shout out to 2K Sim Logic for giving us a four game losing streak. Uh, you know, typical. So we're the seven seed now. We were a three seed, but now we're a seven seed. I mean, it's not like we're far off though. But uh, not definitely not gonna get the sec. Probably not gonna get the second seed, and definitely not gonna get the first seed. But um, we're doing okay. Could be better, could be worse. I mean, probably have a couple of injuries here and there, and that's, you know, you have Tyler Harris missed some games. Same team in scoring, 22.7. They've got Butler, Bam, Shin Yoon's having a good season. Uh, DJ Wagner is coming off the bench. I think he's going to eventually start, though. We got uh, Alec Burks as well, Jose Alvarado. I think we're going to move to the bench and let DJ start. Get your rebounding. This is per 36. I want to be able to do... Per game, yep. Shingun, Bam, Jaime Hawkins Jr. is up there. We got assists. Shingun with six, five point eight from Butler, four point two from Alvarado. We got four. Well, Terrell Lambert hasn't played much. Uh, then we got your steals per game. Butler leading away two point two, and then you get your block shots. Two guys lead block shot a game. Most efficient score has been Bam at fifty seven point nine percent. Your best three, three point shooter has been. Tyler Hero, who's had a 50-40-90 season, so he's looking good on that front. DJ Wagner, 89.3%. I think we're going to have him start now, uh, or not. Okay, they don't want him to start. They want him to come off the bench. All right, we're going to have him come off the bench. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it comfortable, but definitely got to give him an in increase in minutes, and yeah, he's getting that with 23 minutes game now, so that's good. He will eventually be the starter, I think, next season. So let's um, see if there's any moves out there that we might want to make, just guys that maybe aren't happy on the team that we could trade. I think we'll see if we can get something for Orlando Robinson. Uh, which wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we can get two second rounders. I think I'm just going to do that and just sign somebody in free agency. Uh, yeah, I'll do that with the Pacers. Uh, right, and then contracts free agents. Let's just get a center. Bull Bull would be awesome, but I can't afford him. Xavier Tillman would be awesome. Can't afford him just yet. Pogutchewski would be awesome. Can't afford him. Jalen Williams would be awesome. Can't afford him. Uh, we'll just go with my Mason Plumley. We could afford him, so he'll be the backup center, and that should be it. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna get minutes. He's he is gonna get minutes. Okay, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna submit the rest of the season. I'll see you guys once I'm there. Hopefully, we're in the playoffs. Luka Doncic MVP, Justin Edwards Rookie of the Year, Cam Thomas six minute You're averaging 25 off the bench. Wow, that's insane. 25 off the bench. Uh, Giannis defensively of the year, most approved. Bones Highland, Cameron Thomas, clutch for the year off the bench. That's crazy. Jason Kidd, uh, coach of the year, executive of the year, Brandon Harrison. He's the only first team, Casey Gasekiris, only second team, and only third team. No heat. 
Do we have defensive team appearance? Nope. Not this season. But I will say this. We were an improved team three seed this year. 53 and 29. So the team played a lot better this year. The moves made us better. Unfortunately, Kyle Anderson we hurt for a bit of time. We had uh, Hero, Butler right there. We've got Bam, 17.7. Six guys in double figures. I mean, Hero missed, you know, a little bit of time, but it's fine, I guess. And yeah, DJ still not starting. That's right. He'll start next season once he makes that big jump. Uh, Shingun, 10.6 rebounds to lead the team. 9.8 from Bam, 5.7 from Jimmy Butler. Then you got your assist, 5.7 from Shingun. Butler with 5.5, 4.3 from uh, Wagner. You got your steals per game, your block shots per game. Two guys up there. You got your most efficient score being Bam and Abayo, 57.4%, which is pretty impressive. Your three point percentage, which is at 41.6%. Uh, and then your free throw shooting. Yep, Tyler Hero, 95.5%. He's 50, 40, 90. 86.8% from DJ Wagner, 86.2% from Butler of the likes. So, that's going to be the starting lineup right there. Looks pretty good. I like the rotation. Got the Knicks in the first round. Sometimes the Knicks are an interesting, sneaky, good sim team. Hopefully, they're not this season as we play against them. Uh, they got Isaiah Jackson now. They've got Josh Okoji. All right. Let's see how they do. Game one, we are going to take the victory by 30 points. Nice start. Game two, we win again by eight. All right, I like that. Can we win game three? We do, and let's just sweep them and go on to the second round. That's exactly what we do. So we took care of business. Now we got the seven-seeded Brooklyn Nets. We've got Cameron Thomas putting up ridiculous numbers off the bench. They've got Ben Simmons, Kelly Hayes, Kel Bridges, Claxton, Johnson. It's an interesting squad, but I do think we're better. Game one, we show it by winning by seven. Game two, we win again by nine. Game three, we win again by four. And let's win in four. Nope. We drop a game. We drop two games. And, uh, okay, we win in six. Let's go. All right, we're in the conference finals. Memphis and Portland in the west. Cleveland. They've got Nurkic now on their team. Karasver, Tate. Okay, it's a good team. It's a good team. Their, their starting lineup's fully healthy. That's what I'm worried about, that starting lineup, man. It's just really good. Now, we don't have Tyler Hero, so that's unfortunate. Alec Burks has also hurt. A lot of guys now hurt Tyler Hero out for the season. So, probably makes sense why we dropped two games in Brooklyn. Well, it's going to be tough without Tyler Hero. We lose game one by 19. Game two... We lose again by 21, and we're going to go down 3-0. Yep, shout out to 2K Sim Logic. Can't even get a single game on Cleveland? Come on now. All right, well, we got to win four, or got to win four straight. Let's just try to win game four. Uh, first quarter, not, uh, not the best first quarter. Definitely not the best second, but it was okay. Third quarter, okay. And we are going to win. Okay, we won a game. Had a really good fourth quarter win by 12. Grayson Allen. They wanted me to give him less minutes. Put up 22 points to lead the team. Alvarado had 21. Okay, that's some heat culture right there. That's definitely some heat culture. So at least we don't get swept. That's cool. I mean, let's see if we can win in, win game five. Uh, it's going to be tough. First quarter was eh, okay. Second quarter was okay. Third quarter, not too bad. And we are going to end up winning by five points. Bam with 25, 8, and 2. Butler with 22, 2, and 6. Alvarado was really good. Shingun was good. So we're forced to game 6. I, this is impressive. This is impressive indeed. Let's see what happens here in game 6. Can we win on our home court and force game 7? First quarter, not too bad. Second quarter, very bad. Third quarter, not very good. And we are going to lose here, unfortunately, 98, 86. Uh, but a good run. We had a good run. Conference finals. I mean, again, we lost Hero, which is kind of unfortunate. Jimmy tried his best, but it would have been nice to have Hero the entire way. But, no, of course, gets hurt, and we lose. So, it is what it is. All right, who's going to win the finals? Probably Cleveland, right? Uh, John Morant, Darius Garland, even though it's actually the Trailblazers. And, yep, Cleveland wins in five, and Darius Garland wins the finals MVP. All right, so we've skimmed past the draft. No rookie signs. T-Bar options, so we got to re-sign Butler. Jovic and Hawkes, we're going to accept both of those guys. 
And yeah, qualifiers. Jose Alvarado, we're gonna offer him a qualifier. He was actually really good for us, so I wouldn't mind trying to keep him. Same thing with Shingun. And yeah, moratorium. Of course, LeBron's here. Get LeBron. We, okay. I'm actually curious to see if there's a way we can get LeBron James on this team. Like, and then keep Jimmy Butler. I, I think there is a, a world where we can do this. Where we can get LeBron James. Uh, how many offers do you have? Like, I think we could do this. Because I wouldn't mind LeBron. We'll throw LeBron a contract and see if what happens. I mean, we could also do like a Donovan Mitchell. He's probably a little less expensive. We could get him. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Okay, he wants to go to the Mavericks. Okay, we'll throw well, you know, we'll throw him that. Um, and he still wants to go to the Mavericks. Okay, Tatum. Okay, I already used all my offers. Okay, is there a way I could keep Jimmy Butler on the team? Okay, I can't. What if I renounce the rights on all these guys? Trade exception. And then can I cap hold him? Well, I can cap hold Shingoon. I can't cap hold Jimmy Butler. I have a weird feeling that I'm I, I could maybe get this done. But I, I don't want to risk losing Jimmy, so I'm not gonna agree, to LeBron. But we are gonna cap hold like Butler, Shingoon. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Jose Alvarado. Hey, Jose Alvarado, I can get a back on him minimum now. So yeah, I, I, we could probably do that. Eh, we'll just cap hold him. It's fine. Yeah. So not gonna not gonna get um. What's his face? LeBron. He must go to the Clippers. It's fine. Gotta make sure we get Jimmy Butler back. Cavs? Are you out of your mind, bro? No. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, game. No. No, 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 no. We're cap holding Jimmy Butler. I will match Jose Alvarado. That's fine. That That is ridiculous if we just lost if we just lost him. That would be absolutely ridiculous if I just lost Jimmy Butler. Please tell me I didn't lose Jimmy Butler. Oh my god, we lost Jimmy Butler. We lost Jimmy Butler. That is so outrageous. That is outrageous. The video is ruined. Alright, well we're just gonna get Tatum. We're just gonna get Tatum, I guess. I mean... If not Tatum, Evan Mobley. Um, but like, wow, that, that is so unfortunate. Tatum doesn't sign with us. Uh, we'll get Mobley at least. Uh, we'll get Mobley, hopefully. But like, wow, that's ridiculous. All right, well, I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit upset. Like Jimmy Butler just absolutely up and left us. I mean, okay, how about this? What team is he on? He's on Cleveland. Part of me wants to just force the trade to just get him is Cleveland even good? Garland, they don't have Mitchell anymore. Would you guys want Evan Mobley back for, for Jimmy Butler? Hmm. Well, I don't know if I want Jimmy Butler now. Because he's just going to regress. It's just going to ruin the... Ah, oh, man. It's just going to ruin it. Uh, it's fine. You know what? We're, 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 screw it. I, I, I messed up. I messed up. With trying to get LeBron. I was trying to make him like fit LeBron and uh, I mean Evan Mobley's fine. I mean he's young, he's gonna be good. Yeah, Bam, Hero, Shingoon, Wagner, Grimes, we got Jovic is still here, Jose Alvarado, Hannah Hakez, Grayson Allen, Terrence Davis, Duncan Robinson, Mason Plumley, John Wall, Montrose Harrell. I mean, it's a pretty good team. I think we'll be fine. But damn, just losing Jimmy, that, that sucks. That sucks that he just decided I'm going to Cleveland. All right, well, I mean, I do think our team's going to be pretty good. Wagner, Alvarado, Wall, Hero, Grimes, Allen, High Cuz Jr., Tavis, and Robinson. we got Mobley, Adebayo, and Jovic, then Shingun, Bumley, and Harrell. <sighs> Coach game plan. Uh, Alvarado, Grimes, High Cuz Jr., Bam, and Evan Mobley. They want Hero coming off the bench with Shingun. DJ Wagner, Jovic. I mean, our bench is actually pretty filthy. Our starting lineup is a little bit. The backcourt's interesting with Alvarado and Grimes, but and also too Hawkes. I mean, is he ready to start? I mean, I don't know. I guess he's gonna be starting now. 
All right, we'll see how this team does. I mean, it should be interesting. Uh, man, I'm still upset about Jimmy Butler not being on the team. All right, at the deadline, we're the three seed, uh, which is pretty good. Um, Knicks the number one seed right now. That's crazy. Let's take a look at the play uh, player stats right here. Bam is hurt. Sprained wrist day to day, so he should be okay. We've still got Hero, Bam. Evan Mobley's playing pretty solid. We've got DJ Wagner. Shingun off the bench has been good. You know, Rado and Grimes, Hawkes Jr. not doing too bad. Uh, Duncan Robinson's outraged. Probably just trade him. Same thing with Harrell. Just get some different players. Uh, Mobley, 12.2 rebounds a game. We've got Bam. Then Shingun. Assist, 5 for Wag five one from Wagner. 4.7 from Hawkes. Shingun. Alvarado's up there. Your steals per game. Three guys lose the steal block shots. Evan Mobley, 1.7. Most efficient score has been BAM, 58.9%. So that's pretty cool. Our best three-point shooter has been... Uh, well, I guess... I'm trying to think who's played regularly here. Shingun? Yeah. I mean, he probably doesn't take high-volume threes, but... You know, Hero, much more. And then, of course, he's our best free throw shooter as well, 93.5%. Wagner's up to 876 so right now, that's the game plan. I'm going to trade Harrell and Robinson, try to see if we can get a couple of guys. Maybe just another bench piece, see if we can get something for them. Grizzlies, going to get Ryan Rollins and a first-round pick for Robinson and Harrell. Uh, Ryan Rollins, also a young guy, too. But yeah, an unprotected first-round pick from the Grizzlies, absolutely. Which means I then can sign a free agent. I'm going to make sure that contract extensions, I don't skim past it by accident. Cause that, I did that last time, or last season, that's what happened. So yeah, we're going to offer like Hero and Bam, make sure that these guys are still on the team. I mean, then again, they have two more years on their contracts. Or actually, Bam doesn't, but we'll just give them what's necessary to make sure that they don't leave <laughs> by accident like Jimmy Butler did. So, all right. Um, Evan Mobley, you want to get traded? We can get Cade Cunningham. Wow. He's got good value. Devin Booker. Wow. You don't usually see Devin Booker in the trade finder, but he is. But I also have to give him wag. I do get a first as well but i'm not doing that all right let's um let's sign a free agent here um let's look at the roster oh no 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 the roster so right now we have four point guards three shooting guards two small forwards three power forwards and two centers so i could either sign a small forward or a big i think i'm going to sign a well let's see who's out there in free agency i mean i say a jackson can we get him no he wants a lot of money uh, what small forwards are out there? TJ Warren, probably get him. Bogdanovich, maybe. A little with Bogdanovich, I think. We give him a no trade clause, I think he'll accept it. He does. All right, so we'll get Bogdanovich. And I don't think he's going to be in the rotation. He is, actually. Never mind, I lied. So perfect. All right, cool. Let's see him the rest of the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. All right, so we ended up going 49 and 33. Luka, MVP, Cooper Flag, Rookie of the Year, 16 years, Isaiah Collier. Victor, defensive player of the year, most proved. Kobe Walter, wow. 19.1 points per game. It's insane. Then you got Kate Cunningham on the Knicks, clutch player of the year. Mark Denault, coach of the year, executive of the year, John Murphy. Uh, do you have any all NBA appearances here from the Heat? We don't. But we have a defensive, potentially. We do. Evan Mobley, who had uh, 1.1 steals, 1.6 blocks. I mean, he was solid. 7.5 points, 11.7 rebounds did his job so that's all that really matters so we were the four c taking on the detroit pistons so 49 and 33 let's take a look at the season stats hopefully everybody's healthy looks like that is the case tyler here led the way with 19.2 points we had six guys in double figures nearly seven with alvarado so that's cool to see and you got your rebounding a game we've got uh, evan mobley 11.7 8.4 from shingun off the bench 8.3 from bam Got a lot of guys that can rebound. 5.3 assists from Wagner. 5.1 from Hawkins Jr. 4.6 from Shingun. 4.4 from Alvarado. Two guys lose to steal a game. Evan Mobley, most blocked shots on the team. Most efficient scorer was Bam. 57.3, 57.1 from Shingun, though. In terms of regular PT players. And I am assume Tyler Hero is going to have the 50 season. 50, 40, 90. Yes, he is. So good stuff there from Tyler Hero. 87% from the line from the uh, man with the legend DJ. Quinn grabs 82.3%. So I actually like the team. Okay, so they have Tyler Hero starting now, which is good. I mean, Tyler Hero is a friggin' 89 overall. It's insane. All right. 
Detroit. Now, they don't have Cade, but they have Kyrie and Jaden Ivey and Thompson. And... Okay, I mean, it's a good team. It's a good team. So, we'll sim the plan. Game one, we win by 18 points. Game two, they win by two. Game three, we win by four. Can we win game four? Yes. Can we win game five? Yes. Sorry, we're in the second round. The Knicks, number one seeded Knicks with instead of Jalen Brunson, Cade Cunningham now. Uh, that's pretty interesting, unless they still have Jalen Brunson. They don't. Their bench is really bad. Other than maybe Josh Hart and Terrence Mann, I mean, yeah, it's it's not. I mean, yeah, this final lineup's good. And they're really just Cade. That's uh, it kind of scary. He's Cade averaging freaking 35 a game in the playoffs, pretty crazy. And game one, they do win by four points. So that's you know, not by much, but they still won it. Game two, they win again by 21, uh, which is unfortunate. Bam is coming off the bench now. That's crazy. Okay, we've got to win game three, and shout out to the 2K Sim Logic. We don't win game three because this is 2K, and 2K doesn't make any sense. So, continue here. The Sim, somehow, some way, could we force a game four or game five? Looks like we might. We are winning right now, but it's close. And the Knicks are going to end up uh, winning this game by one point. Shout out to the 2K's piss poor Sim Logic, getting us this sweep because 2K doesn't make any sense. So, shout out to 2K's. Piss poor sim logic once again. So let's take a look here at the stats. Of course, Jaime Hawkins Jr. getting hurt doesn't really help us out. And uh, yeah, I mean, Hero put up 25.7 points. I mean, Mobley 20.9, but just not enough. We even lost in seven. So, you know, Jimmy Butler could have stayed with us, but instead he decided to leave. The Thunder, Celtics, uh, Celtics win the finals. Jalen Brown finals MVP. Who's in the Celtics? Really? Really? Who's on this team? Oh, they still have Jason Tatum. I was about to say, did they lose Jason Tatum? They actually have DeJounte Murray, though. That's kind of interesting. Terrence Proctor, they have Drew Holiday come off the bench. Okay, cool. Let's go on to the next season. I have pick 21. I don't, we're not going to be able to trade it, but that's fine. But at least we have pick 21, which is cool. I'm going to see if there's any moves we can make. Try to acquire another talent for this team. I'm going to look around and see, but, uh, you know, there's no guarantee. Oh, wow. Okay. Just traded for LaMelo Ball. Shingoon. Rollins, Grimes, and Alvarado, as well as a future pick. And I just got myself Lamella Ball on the team. So Lamella Ball, me now, my point guard. Uh, was not expecting that to go through. Was not expecting that to go through, but here we are. Which means I can make Bam a center now again. Uh, he can go back to being a center. And his overall stays the same, so. Could make Evan Mobley a center, too. What is his overall? His overall stays the same. Yeah, we'll keep it that way. It's fine. We just can't be a power forward. Just guard the changes, so. I mean, honestly, I like Shingoon, but you know what? We needed a point guard, and LaMelo Ball is a pretty damn good point guard. So, I mean, not to say that Wagner isn't, but uh, we're just getting a better point guard. Might have, I, I might have tried to get Jimmy Butler back, but honestly, eh, nah, not worth it. I mean, we got pick 18, pick 21. We could theoretically, you know, move up or do something with these picks. Maybe try to get an additional rotational piece. Mm, no, I think we just keep the team as is. All right, let's let's head on to the draft and see who's out there. Right, I mean, these guys aren't real, but I guess we can just go with like uh, let's go with uh, let's go with Reed Phillips. I, I've Reed Phillips and Kobe Phillips are kind of cool to get both of those guys, but we'll get uh we'll get Reed or Reed Phillips, yeah, in the G League, and then we'll send the next user pick. And we will take, I'll take Kobe Phillips, why not? We'll take another point guard, sure. A butler. And we'll swim to the end. I think we had a second rounder as well. Chip Kerr. There you go. And then, yeah, we're not going to sign him. So, perfect. Team player options. Wagner and Hawkins Jr. We're going to step both those guys. Qualifiers. Jovic, want to keep him around on the team. And you got your moratorium here. Uh, nothing too crazy. I mean, Jovic, we can keep. He wants to sign on that contract, sure. And we'll just try to see if we can round out the rest of the roster from going on from there. All right, so we're heading on to player progression. We've got two more seasons to go, I believe. Uh, this season and the final one's next season, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. 23, 24, 24, 20, yep. So, yeah, we have o we have Evan Mobley, LaMelo Ball, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, DJ Wagner, Nikola Jovic. We picked up Isaac Edmondson on the team, which is... Wonderful. I don't know how he was in free agency, but we took him on a really nice deal. 
We got Hawkins Jr. still. Kobe Phillips we drafted. TJ Warren picked him up. Gogutatsu picked him up. We got Reed Phillips we drafted. Bogdanovich. And then Hernan Gomez, Pat Connington to kind of just round out the roster. Honestly, it's a decent team. It kind of stinks that I don't have Butler, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I like the squad. I think if we had Jimmy, who knows? But, hey, let's just uh, head on to the uh, fourth season. So, the fourth season's here. The roster's looking like this. Uh, we've got LaBella Ball, DJ Wagner, and Kobe Phillips. Hero, Phillips. Oh. Reed Phillips and then Bogdanovich and then we've got Hawkins Jr. TJ Warren and Pat Connington small forwards power forwards we've got Mobley, Jovic and Edmondson centers Bam, Batazzi and Willie Ernie Gomez so the rotation's looking like this Ball here Hawkins Jr. Mobley and Adebayo DJ Wagner, Jovic, Edmondson yep looking good there and then you've got short sits of proficiency which is looking just like this four and a half star balance. That's exactly when to run. It's looking good, so let's keep it that way. I mean, I feel like this team's gonna be really good. I mean, at, at some point, I think maybe we try to get a better small forward. You know, we, we could do that. We could do, we can't trade that. We could get like somebody better than uh, Hawkes. Not to say that Hawkes is bad, but we just get a better small forward. We could still keep him on the team. Maybe we trade like the rookies, like these Phillips guys. And if there's like a small forward out there that we can get, Get a really good first round pick. Uh, I don't like any of these ones, but if there was like a small forward out there that we could get, I'd love that. So uh, we'll, we'll look. Maybe in the off season, we'll try to get, acquire a really good small forward. But I think for now, let's see what happens with this team in the fourth fourth season. Team's looking really good, thirty and thirteen, but only the second seed. Hornets are forty and ten. The Hornets are forty and ten. Why now? Why is that? Why are the Hornets forty and ten? Brandon Miller, Edwards, Murray, Bay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, oh yeah, right. I forgot to give him Shingoon, but he's hurt. They actually have a really good team. I need them really good. They just have Lamelo. I mean, we have Lamelo. I mean, we're really good too, though. I mean, right? I mean, we're pretty good. Let's see the player stats here. I mean, Lamelo Ball, twenty-six point six points per game. We got Tyler Hero averaging twenty. We have five guys in double figures right now. Uh, Jovic is doing pretty solid. Akez Jr. is thrilled, but he's got a sprain right knee day to day, but he'll be all right. Reed Phillips is heated. Uh, of course he is. Rebounding, 10.8 from Mobley, 8.7 from Bam. Uh, in terms of assists, 10.1 from Lamelo, so he's having a double-double on the season so far. 7.8 from Wagner off the bench. So he's been really good off the bench for us this entire video. Get your steals, block shots right there. Mobley leading the way. Most efficient scorer has been Goga Batazzi. 59.6 off the bench. 59.1 from Bam, which is nice to see. Three-point percentage. Our best three-point shooter has to be the man, the myth, the legend. Goga Batazzi. <laughs> we got DJ Wagner. Tyler Hero's having a good season as well. Shooting 97.1% from the line. That's pretty good too. All right, cool stuff, cool stuff. Let's... Uh, Let's make a trade here. I mean, DJ Warren's my starting small forward. I, I do want a better small forward at some point. If we can do it. Um, I mean, I'll try to finagle a move, but it, it's going to be tough. Okay. I think I'm going to do this with the Knicks. We're going to give up our two rookies. I have to give Edmondson and a first-round pick. We get a trade exception, which we might use. We're going to get Brandon Ingram, Nerlens Noel, and Riley Kulig. I mean, Brandon Ingram's on a minimum, but, I mean, just to improve the team now, I think it's going to be super helpful to have him on our squad. So... I'm going to see if maybe there's one more trade we could make to uh, improve the team. So I'm going to look around and see if we can get something for our squad. One more piece. All right, I'm going to do this deal here with the Grizzlies. We're going to give up Willie Hernan Gomez, TJ Warren, Bogdanovich, three second round picks. We're going to back Isaiah Jackson, Matt Ryan, and Frank Jackson. Uh, I don't know how much better that makes us, but um, we'll see. Um, I think I want to move one of these guys to a power forward. Uh, who is it going to be? That is the question. I think Isaiah Jackson might be the obvious choice. And, yeah, we're going to move Isaiah Jackson to the power forward. So I'm going to go to quick edit. We're going to go to the different view here and make him a power forward instead. His overall goes up. And that is perfect. So that's going to be the team. Ball, Hero, Ingram, Mobley, and Adebayo. Yeah, I like it. Let's see what happens. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Luka MVP, Chip Kerr, rookie of the year, 16 year guard DL, Chet Holmgren, defense for the year, most guard DL, Luka Doncic, college player of the year, coach of the year, Owen Taylor, and Nicholas Babcock, 16 and 14 Hornets, man. Made them a super team, but we do have at least the mellow ball. We took the best player from them. 
And yeah, 26.1 points, 10.2 assists, 42. 40, yeah, he was really efficient from the field, obviously. Uh, All NBA first team, All NBA second team, and All NBA third. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Got your defensive teams. We don't have any heat, and no heat on the rookie teams either. But we were the two seed. We won 58 games, but we were 10 games worse than the Hornets. The uh, Hornets are a super team, man. Even without Lamelo. Uh, but there's your uh, scoring leaders right there. So we got uh, seven guys in double figures, as you can see. And then we got your rebounding leaders going to Mobley, Adebayo, and Jackson. Then you got your assist, Paul, Wagner, and Hero. Two guys lose to steal a game, block shots. Two guys lose a block shot. Most efficient scorer was Isaiah Jackson, 63% with the field. So that's pretty good to see. Uh, then you get your three-point percentage. Uh, Kulig, did he play? No, he played 16, so really LaMelo. And then your free throw shooting was Tyler Hero, 50, no, no 50, 40, 90 this season from him. But team was good. Let's see what the rotation is going to be looking like. It's going to be looking like that. Looks pretty good. So let's see if we can uh, win. Uh, Celtics, seven seed. Tough seven seed, I'll say that. They're a good team. Coming off a championship. Game one, we beat them by one point. Okay, game two, they beat us by 11. Okay, we need to win game three here. We do by 18. Can we win game four? No. Weird. Uh, we do have an injury, right? Oh, no, we don't. Okay, I thought we did. I thought Brendan and Roger, no, they just want him off the bench. Okay, so it's 2 2 series. Let's try to make it 3 2 us. We do make it 3 2 us, and let's win in seven, or let's win in six. Nope, of course not. Shout out to the 2K Sim Logic. All right, well, we lose by one point, of course. I'd like to win this game here. We are the home team. Let's get off to a good start. Very good first quarter, not a good second quarter. Need to have a good third quarter, not a good third whatsoever, and an embarrassing fourth as 2K Sim Logic. Once again, strikes. I love 2K, man. Such a good sim engine. Makes so much sense. Um, you know, the likes as we end up losing. Which sucks because we had an easy path. I mean, the Nets would be easy to beat. But, you know, it is what it is. 2K sim logic sometimes doesn't make a lot of sense. And that ends up what happened. Also, Tyler Hero getting hurt doesn't help either. But, you know, it is what it is. So, shout outs again to 2K's his sports sim logic. So, let's. We have one more season. Of course, Brooklyn gets to the conference finals. I say they, they were an easy matchup. Rockets versus Hornets. Hornets win the finals in seven. Alfred and Shingun, who traded away finals MVP. Look at that. Maybe we should have kept him on the team. A little bit pissed about that. Eh, maybe it was the wrong decision. But I needed a point guard. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. All right, so we have, like, one pick, pick 28. But, we, again, we can't trade it. I'm just going to sim past the draft because it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I don't know if there's any moves we can make here. Uh, the problem is we don't have Brandon Ingram now because he was on a minimum. So, do we move like a Jovic? We have Hawkes. I mean, we could move Jovic. We could move Kulig. Although Kulig has a team option. He's probably upset. I have Mobley, sore right knee. I mean, what could I get for Lamel? Can I get like Giannis or something? Should I want Giannis? Yeah, that's a free agent. Do I want Jokic or want Doncic? I obviously want Doncic. He would require 643. What if I did this? You guys must give me Luka. Give me Luka Doncic right now. Okay, no, don't give me Luka. That's fine. All right. Um, yeah, we're just going to see Master Draft. Doesn't really matter too much. OJ Flowers, not going to sign him, honestly. Team player options. Wagner, yes. Kulig, yes, even though he's annoyed. All right. Uh, qualifiers, Matt Ryan. Hawkes, yeah. Eh, we can offer Wham Ryan. Screw it. Why not? I'd like to get Ingram back, but quite frankly, that's just not going to happen. So, I mean, we'll offer Hawkes. He wants a cheap deal. We'll give him two years, 5.5 million. I need to be able to get a small forward, but now basically I can't because we don't have, uh, what's his face? We're not going to have um, Ingram. So, it'll be tough. I mean, we'll try. We'll try our best. I mean, see if we can get Ingram back, but I highly doubt it. All right, so I feel like our team got worse, but I mean, we'll see. I mean, DJ Wagner's leading up to an 86, which is nice. He made a nice big jump. So we got Mobley, Ball, Bam, Hero with Wagner. We got Jovic on the team again. With Struce, Tillman, Sr., Hawkes, Jr.'s back. We got a Koji. 
Riley Kulig, Shake Milton, Hashi Marshall, Yusuf Nurkic, Landry Shamit. <coughs> I mean, fit the final season. I mean, sucks to be, like I said, sucks that we don't have. Uh, it would be nice if we had Jimmy. But unfortunately, we don't have Jimmy. I mean, can we trade for Jimmy? Is Jimmy Butler still in the league? I don't even know if he's still in the league. He might not even be in the league anymore. And if he is, I don't know where he is. Jimmy Butler. Looking for a Jimmy Butler. Don't see him anywhere. He might have retired, honestly. I think he, reti I think he retired. Let me see. Uh, player finder. Did he retire? I think he did. Yeah, Butler. Let's see. B-U-T. Butler. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's uh, head on to the fifth and final season. The final season. I mean, the team on paper looks pretty good. I mean, Ball, Wagner, Milton, Hero, Kulig, Shamit, Struess, Hawkins Jr., and Okoji, Mobley, Jovic, and Marshall. And then we've got Bam, Tillman Sr., and Yusuf Nurkic to round out the team. Again, we still have Eric Spolster, I imagine. We've got a nine-man rotation going. Actually, we don't have... We have Karan Butler. That's kind of cool. So, Karan Butler is our coach. I guess Spolster is gone. I mean, let's see, let's see what happens. So, I'm hoping the team will be okay. We are a four-star balanced. I'm hoping the team will be good. I mean, I imagine we'll be in the playoffs again. We just have to not get eliminated in the first round. That'd be nice. Right, well, we're right now 50, 30, and 21... Could be better, could be worse. You know, 2K sim logic sometimes isn't always on our side. Uh, DJ Wagner is our leading scorer right now. 26.8 points per game. So that's pretty impressive. And now Lamella Ball's coming off the bench, I guess. Okay. Got six guys averaging double figures. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad with DJ Wagner taking a massive jump. Like, I can't be upset about that. That's huge. That's absolutely huge for us. Uh, I'm going to move Kool-Aid because I don't need him. Uh, Mobley, Bam, Ball, leading team in rebounding, assist. We got Wagner, 9.181 from Lamelo. We got four guys least to steal a game, two from in terms of Wagner, and then block shots, 1.7 from Mobley. Most efficient scorers been Bam, 53.5%, 50.7 from DJ. Then you got your three-point percentage going to the absolute legend himself, Bam, who has barely taken any. Josh Koji, but he hasn't played much as well with Lamelo. And then, um, yeah, free throw shooting, 96.3% from Tyler Hero. So let's move Kulig. That's probably the only trade I'm going to do. Let the Ball is back in the starting lineup. And now let's uh, see if we can make a couple trades. Maybe just, well, maybe just one. Yeah, Kulig, just move him. And uh, I can't trade any of these picks. Maybe Kulig in a second. I get Delano Banton. We can get uh, Bobby Clintman. Personally, if I can get a small for that'd be nice. Christian Brown from the Pelicans. I mean, that's not bad. I'm going to do Diallo. I'll take Christian Brown. There we go. That works for me. So, Christian Brown will probably be in the rotation. He is, so good good pick up there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's look at the roster here. So, we have three point guards, two short shooting guards, small forwards. I want to see if we can maybe move Josh Koji. Can we get a better shooting guard or something? I feel like Josh Koji isn't even playing that much. He is not. He's played 20 games. Yeah, we're moving for. Can we get a better shooting guard? Let's see. We got a first rounder. If we, and you trade away Nick. Oh, we can do this. Yeah, Cleveland get a first rounder. Not that that matters though, really. I mean, Rui Hachimura is also decent too. Um, Scott Reed from the Thunder. I mean, Cleveland will give me a better center, and then we can just sign a sign a shooting guard. I guess we get a first rounder. I'll just do that with Cleveland. I guess we'll get Nick Richards. And then, if we look at the roster, yeah, we get a shooting guard in free agency. So let's see, shooting guards. I'm sure there's got to be, like, somebody that's decent. Shooting guards. I mean, Colin Sexton would be cool, but... Ooh, we could get Colin Sexton. Bingo. We got Colin Sexton. Nice. All right, so that's going to be the team for the rest of the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the year where we should be able to be in the playoffs. All right, so we went 47 and 35, but somehow that's only the sixth seed because shout out to 2K. Uh, Luka Doncic, MVP, rookie of the year, Derek Queen, Jeremy Sohan, sixth man of the year, defense player of the year, Giannis, supposed to prove Isaac Edmondson, Kobe Walter, clutch player of the year, man. This guy has become really good. Really good. 
Uh, 28, 28 points per game. Wow. Mark Denault, Coach of the Year, Executive of the Year, John Murphy. Here's your Bay first team, Olin Bay second. You got DJ Wagner. 26.5 points, 8.7 assists. He had two steals a game. Almost 50, 49, even not quite there. And then Olin Bay third team, LaMelo Ball. 23.5 points, 6 rebounds, 8.1 assists on good efficiency. You got Evan Mobley, all defensive first team. 14 and 11. One, one steal, 1 1.8 blocks. And that's all she wrote. So we have a good team. We're a good six seed, I will say that. We got to take on the Boston Celtics. They were the three seed. They were 49 and 33. So pretty tightly packed between two through six. Bit of a divide, though. Clearly the Hornets up top, and then there's a bunch of teams that are kind of just squished there, and then the play in teams. So looking at the player stats here, we've got ourselves. Two guys at least 20. We've got six guys in double figures overall. A little ball with some games, but for the most part, we played overall this you know the season got your rebounding mobile 11 8 point three from bam lamella ball six assist a game got your or rebounds assist wagner and ball leading the way hami outcast 5.3 got your steals per game five guys i guess theoretically if you want to count lamella ball and then uh you know dj two steals a game they went evan mobile 1.8 blocks most efficient score was nick richards 56.8 but then again he played 31 games, so bam, I guess. And then your three-point shooting is probably going to go to Tyler Hero. He's also going to get the free throw shooting as well. We got a couple guys shooting over 41%, which is nice. But it may not matter if we don't win in the playoffs. So let's uh, adjust that rotation. Everybody seems to be relatively healthy. So Boston. They've got Proctors doing well, Murray, Brown, Tatum, Porzingis is a 90 overall, Kuzma's on that team now. It's a good team, man. It's a good team. Game one, we do beat them by 12. Nice. Can we win game two? No, we can't win game two. Lamella Ball is playing hurt. Game three, we win by 23. Can we win game four? We do win game four by one point, and they win game five. They're going to win game six, right, 2K? Yep, of course. Shout out to NBA 2K's same logic. I mean, it's just so obvious. It's so obvious. Got to win game seven. Hopefully we can. Horrible first quarter. An embarrassing second quarter. A really good third. And we need to have a really good fourth. And we don't. An embarrassing fourth. Woo, terrible. Absolutely putrid fourth quarter. As 2K sim logic once again, showing why it's such a the realistic game. So, fortunately, losing seven, blowing a 3-1 lead. But, again, that is uh, very 2K. So, there's your uh, leading scorers, I guess, in the playoffs, if you guys care. Definitely unfortunate. Ah, man. All right, well, we have one more team now, the Nuggets. Oh, that's our last team. We've got the Celtics in the finals versus the Thunder. And the Thunder win in five. Shea, finals MVP. Let's go on to the full screen and close the video. All right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment down on most videos. Go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you like the content, DJP. So, I think next time we do 2K, it's our final team. The Western Conference team. The reigning champion, Denver Nuggets. I almost said Detroit. Denver Nuggets. That's our final team. And then after that, we got our fantasy draft. And then we'll do some, I don't know, career sims, zero overall, league stuff. Fun stuff. We'll be doing fun videos. Maybe more exciting. Probably more exciting than these ones, honestly. But with that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.